Henlo, sorry. I have no idea why I've been so damn shaky lately. I'd say it's my lack of sleep, but I've been getting the same amount of sleep. <laughs> hey, Kate. Hey, hey, pressing this button and heading out to remain spoiler free. That's fine. Much appreciated. Thank you for the sub. I have watched tiny parts of this. I have no idea what is actually happening lore-wise. We are stuck in a cursed city which has everybody inside of it being manipulated by different time. Um, the leader of our crew, our squad, wants to be the ruler of Persia, even though they've gone insane. And we gotta stop them. In reality, the, the plot is actually just um, Sove loses mind at platformer, <laughs> becomes very happy. All right, going into the final area, I'm going to take off the the heavy damage ability. Is there any way that I can have sh Tempest and Shockwave? If I get rid of fire arrows. Or, or if I get rid of Air attack damage? No, that's helpful. Let's drop fire arrows for a bit. Or do I have two ones? Anyway, I hope you are having a good day, sorry. Okay, I don't have fire arrows, but I have good air combo damage. I get offense. I think you may have missed it. But I have received a rare cat food satchel misprint. So there's like a misspelling or something on it? Now I am rich. They printed the wrong weight on it. All right, fine. I forgot there's a tree in here. <laughs> Final area, let's go. I have no idea what to expect in this area, aside from probably fighting. That, that amulet is real good. The, voids, the void blade is incredibly strong. Any more birds? this area has music like this I have a near mint misprint probably worth thousands of dollars I don't know about that if, if there's a misprint on one of them from a factory there's probably a misprint on most of them
Ow. Hey, sorry. Oh, no, you're not sorry. You're Delta. I just woke up. <laughs> Oh, Delta. Doing well, glad to hear it. Got back from your appointment earlier. Hope it went well. I mean, doctors in the States make you perform a trick by making you pay out the ass every time you see them. None of those statues came to life, huh? I assume we're about to enter the final battle. Which means I'm going to take a drink and turn up my volume a bit. a big fucking sign on my door that says if this is closed please don't disturb but that'll just make them disturb more all right let's um try fighting whoever we gotta fight without all of the over without all of the overpowered gear because the amulets make a hell of a difference oh not jumpable Okay, let's talk to the, the time kid. Laura. My father gave you the key to the palace, didn't he? Then you can enter the hall of divination. Ready to face me, but older me. He has lost control. You've seen your older self. I just know he's there, and I don't want to be like him. Sargon, you're still my friend. Are you? There has to be a way to save him. Ah, oh, crap. Is there going to be a Symphony of the Night level fucking you need to equip this kind of thing? I'll find a way. I didn't give up on you, and I won't give up on him. Warning, there will be no turning back. Are you ready? Yes. lost too much to trust the Samorg again. I can't believe in such a cruel god anymore. The heart of the Simorg. With our powers combined as one, imagine all the good we could do for humankind. Varen, no human is meant to wield such power. No mere mortal. I am the first immortal. Sargon, 
You must understand. The Samorg's powers showed me the future. I saw our kingdom engulfed in flames. Our people suffering for nothing. Persia vanishing. Corrupted from within. We can stop it, Saga. We can build a world free of deceit, lies, human weaknesses. Help me save Persia. Give me your powers. No. Yeah, I was about to say. I am time and space. I am creation. It says that you're Varum. And I will create a new perfect empire. Earth! You should have joined me instead, Sargon. Destroyed everything. Mount Carf. Persepolis. There is nothing left. No immortals. No one. Only the void remains. Mighty Simorg, you were the one gifting me life time and time again. Why did you choose me rather than the others? I'm not sure I understand. They are always with me. I can't defeat them. Be the universe. What if it's too late? I don't exist anymore. I can't oh no. stop Varen. There's no lip sync on that part. He's not my enemy. I can still save him. Hell yeah, let's do this. Also, oh hey look, another really cool looking place visually. The environmental artists in this game deserve a raise. I don't know how much they got paid, but they deserve more.
Ooh, I didn't realize how much there was going to be before uh, Varum. I thought it was just going to be a fight. I don't have any of the overpowered stuff equipped. This will be fun. Black Adam? Be the first to witness the birth of a new world, Saga. Varum, you are mistaken. The world you have in mind cannot exist. A new world is not up for debate. It manifests itself for all. Okay, we got Sunburst. Which looks like I can parry them. Whoa, why... Oh yeah, the Void Strike is so powerful. I have no idea what's this. Sunburst! Phase one. If this man is supposed to be an angel, he is lacking around 2,000 eyeballs. Yeah, I know, right? Defeat a god, Saga. I can't join you either. Ow! Oh boy. That was real bad. Oh! There's no safe space there. Phase two. You are resisting the inevitable. No, this is my path. This is the only way. Oh, God. Didn't see that coming. Ah! 
Yeah, I did the wrong way. I forgot that was coming. Really hope I'm doing this right. Give me what's mine. Oh dear. It's over. Is it now? I'm here to save you from yourself. Oh, hell yeah. This is so cool! to be where we mortals are friends again. Platinum for Prince of Persia. Yeah, I know. You get a super form in the final boss, and it still has new mobility tools. <laughs> it is the end.
The bird of Persia, yeah. Oh boy, we're gonna. Here is Prince Hassan. The immortals have succeeded. Well, the remaining ones. History will remember you. May our paths cross again. Um, Your Majesty. Not anymore. Sargon, you brought back the Simorg, a triumph worthy of a king. I need no praise. My blades served the crown, but in Mount Karf, they were bloodied with the truth. Oruk, Menelaus, Rajin, Anahita, Varum, all dead now. A small price to pay to secure my bloodline. Thirty years ago, King Darius was murdered. No. I'll let you confess that story. Sargon? You look like hell, buddy. She's very nimble in climbing down those stairs for somebody who sat on a chair for 30 years. You're not wrong. Shiny Pidgey. I don't really know what else to say. My Ubisoft Montpellier. Monio Rad. Uh, where's the... Level designer, yes, but level design and environment design are different things. Level artists. Those people, all of them, are heroes. Okay. I have this very loud, and I have a lot of things to say about this game. Um, those people are all heroes as well. Single out the single non hero. <laughs> Shame the non-hero. Quality control and development testers. There is a puzzle that I broke. There's the QC.
Tommy Simon, Stuart Scudamore. Oh, I don't recognize any of these people. That's awesome. You solved it. Yes, you did solve it. You just, you brute forced it. <laughs> They do not read like your average English surname. Yeah, that's fair. This game is in so many languages. That means so many more people are going to be able to play it. Ubisoft Montpellier, you fucking killed it. I hope this soundtrack gets on Spotify, or is already on Spotify. While the credits are rolling, I'm going to take a quick look if this is on Spotify. Because there was some absolute class stuff in this. Oh shit. Oh shit, it's here. All right, I know what I'm listening to next time I draw. Delta is cursed, by the way. Oh no. What happened to Delta? Oh no, Delta! Well, if you can hear me, I see the chat in Discord. I'm sorry that that's going on. I'm sorry that Twitch is a butt. Try refreshing? That usually helps for me. But Twitch can sometimes just be a huge butt. It takes a hell of a lot of people to make a game. And it takes a hell of a lot of people to make a game like this. That guy's name was Yannick Ma. I like that. Now finally so they can sleep again. I've been sleeping the normal amount. I've just also been... having marathon gaming uh marathon gaming uh b -b 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 what's the word i'm looking for 
sessions. It's in my title. What the fuck am I doing? Which I don't usually do that much anymore. Like this, this I'm not watching videos with this. I'm not like listening to a podcast while playing this. I'm just playing this game, fully focused on this game and talking, I guess. Talking to chat every now and then. Most of this was alone, but whatever. I just... Gotta love it when even the accounting gets their own gigantic part in the credits. What's this? I hope that's not copyright. Not gonna fuck around with that. Take good care of Barum. Time is funky. Many thanks for playing. You can load your save file to continue your exploration of Mount Kaf and complete unresolved mysteries. And I will do that because I need one last little bit of stuff to uh, one last little bit of stuff to get the 100% but okay real quick it's it's no secret especially Sove. okay rate my new beanie I, I, did you post it in here? Man, you guys posted a lot of food today, didn't you? Oh, that is a cute beanie. That is a cute little toque. I, I appreciate it. Very cute. I love the, the lime and white combo. Um, oh, I got a new skin. Uh, exalted. Okay, sure. Why not? Lore. Eye of the Wanderer. This magic glass eye gives its bearer the ability to map all of Mount Kaf. See the map? Okay, so... We've had that the entire time, but now it's in our inventory. Okay. I didn't look at my percentage, which I should have done. But that happens. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Yes, so. So, yes, um, it's no secret that lately I've been incredibly stressed okay that chiming needs to go away for a second where is it quiet um yeah been no secret that depression and stress have been getting to me lately with this fucking game like I don't want to say something absurd like it's been a cure to everything because that's just that's just goofy but I I legitimately cannot remember the last time I played a game that just landed that just 
pretty much everything in this entire game just made me so happy. The combat's fun, the presentation is great, the map is gigantic, there's so many ways to like screw around with your builds, the platforming is unbelievably fun. This game just made, makes me so fucking happy, and for the last week or so that I've been playing it, like, I don't really know how else to say. Like, this has been just pretty much the sole focus of the last week or so of my life, and as goofy as that might be, as over the top as that might be, Good lord, do I appreciate it. Welcome. So we need to upgrade our stuff. So we will be here for a little bit. But yeah, like, I'm not gonna try to be hyperbolic or whatever and say this game is a cure to depression. It's definitely helped out with mine, but I just I'm very happy that this game exists. As seen by the literal all-nighters I've been pulling. And uh, people who were watching it with me, watching me play it, losing my mind at puzzles, making myself look good on some jumps and making myself look completely inept on others, me face tanking way too many enemies. I just needed this game. Oh no, is Delta just not able to see chat at all? Sove doesn't seem to have seen my PSN messages either, so I'm in two voids. Okay, um, I have it set to do not disturb while I'm streaming so I don't get messages. If you can hear me. As I will quickly take a look at my notifications. I've closed and reopened uh, the app several times. Okay, sorry, sorry to hear that, man. Twitch is just being fucky now, I guess. It does that, unfortunately. Welcome. Kahiva, do you remember me? Of course. My forge will always protect me from time's tricks. Events have started again. It's as if being trapped in a riddle. That is not the way to consider it. Events start again, while you continue. <sighs> True. I have memories of how things were, and how they could be. Okay, so if things have restarted, does that mean, like... Does that mean that bosses have respawned and whatnot?
Can I talk to Faraba? Uh, sure can. Hi, Sargon. Do you still know me? Don't worry. Not everyone forgets. Not like the mad alchemists. That's why they write it all down. The shift was very strong this time. I wasn't sure what happened, but then I saw your prince, uh... Hassan. Alive and well. Very gracious, too. So, you did manage a second chance? Okay, uh, gonna save real quick. I have one extra coin and one extra silver. Okay. Boom! Big ol' 100%. Now, let me see if there's any post-game stuff. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Because it's setting up like there could be. Uh, Post-game content guide at the Prince of Persia, The Lost Crown. Uh, exalted skin. Map pieces. Okay, um, after successfully finishing the game and watching the credits, the following will be right back to the main menu, so you don't choose to load your save file, which now has an icon indicating you have completed it. Okay, is there... Is there actually anything new for completing the game? Okay, that's fine. I don't think I ever finished a game to 100%. I usually don't. Like, you guys have seen me not many times. Uh, where's the nearest boss? I'm just gonna take a gander at a boss location. Because I am curious to see. The fun thing with a time travel story is if you need to make a sequel, you can just make it the fuck up. Time travel is nonsense. Okay, let's go see if we can fight the giant snack. Because I'm just curious. The first. Nope, okay. 
Time travel also makes any and all of your actions completely inconsequential. Uh, yeah, I mean, it can. It, it feels like with the completion of this game that uh, Sargon has kind of been... It's kind of become out of the time loop. Which I believe is what they did in the um, Sands of Time trilogy, although that, I haven't played those games in absolute years. How does Samus Aran fit into the story? Um, when Persia eventually falls, it's because her ship landed. I don't know. Hey, Delta! No longer in jail. Well, maybe still in jail, but at least I can see ya. So yeah, um, needless to say, if anybody had any questions, this game is, for me, an absolute 10 out of 10. It might be my favorite Metroidvania. Like, there could be some recency bias to that, but this, this game just, everything hit. Like, one puzzle confounded me, and even that was fun to f try to figure out. This is absolutely a game that I will be playing again, because there's a incredible amount of difficulty tools. This doesn't even have sound effects driving you mad while you look for secrets. I know, right? Yeah, big ol' sun. <sighs> Rude. Big ol' thumbs up to this game. Um, options. Oh my god, I didn't even realize there was this many. Okay, disable screen shake. Visible interaction shows markers for interactive elements. Okay. Melee targeting assist. Turn the character in the direction of the enemy when attacking. Aim assist strength for arrows, I guess. Platforming assist. Let's you create portals to skip challenging platform. Oh my god. Auto unfreeze, shake off the frost effect automatically without having to press the buttons quick. My goodness. Uh, fully customizable controls. Difficulty mode. You can just set the difficulty at whatever the hell you want. Sargon went Ultra Instinct. He did. Subtitles, subtitle background, alternative font, HUD scale, normal, medium, large. High contrast mode? Oh. Increases contrast between important gameplay elements and the background. Interesting. Okay. And then all of the audio languages. Oh no, what? There's actually Persian. That's fantastic. The 
accessibility, actually. Oh, okay. Already went through all this stuff, I think. Yeah, um... Like, I don't really... Time to replay the game in Persian. I might. Like, I don't really know what else to say. I can't remember the last time there's been a game that came out where I'm just so unanimously... Like... There's one puzzle. And that's the statue puzzle. That I think was off base. And it might not be off base as much as I just didn't read all of the lore necessary to, like, figure it out. Everything in this game, aside from, like, one small puzzle, like, 1% of the game, less than 1%, I just have nothing bad to say about it. This game was an absolute joy. It was 100% worth the money, probably worth more. And in a genre that I've played many, 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 many games in, I think this is my favorite Metroidvania. Like, it, it definitely has... It just takes so much from the genre and it's like, well, I'm going to have a little bit of this, a little bit of this, and takes so many fun parts and puts it all together and it's just... Just excellent. Don't let Ubisoft know that you would have paid more. Yeah, that's fair. If I knew it would support the artists, <laughs> the environment artists directly, I would buy the uh, deluxe edition DLC for 10 bucks. It's like, I'm not going to use this stuff. Maybe I'll use the costume, but I'm not going to use the other stuff inside of it. I just... I want those artists to get a tiny bit more money because they earned it. Anyway, that's going to be it for me. Um, I'm going to need tea right now because, yeah, I know it won't. I'm going to need tea immediately because I have talked more in the last five days than I think I might have talked in... Uh... in the last 10 years. Anyway, if you have any platforming interest at all, or you're a fan of Prince of Persia, whether it's classic Prince of Persia or Sands of Time Prince of Persia or whatever, I can't recommend this game enough. And I'll just keep hammering that home. Thank you guys for being here for... I'm not going to say most of this game, because uh, I have a bit of a problem with this one. I kind of just went off, but yeah. I guess goodbye for this one, and I'll stream something new. Maybe fighting games, maybe a different Metroidvania. No mere human could have caught all of you, all of your streams for this. I mean, there's a lot of times when it was a bit boring because I was just like searching around and talking to myself, but it wasn't boring for me. So maybe it's not boring for you. I don't know. Regardless, I'm going to head out and try to resist the urge to immediately restart this game because I actually have some other stuff that I need to do. And this game has distracted me completely from a lot. But it was a good distraction. This game legit legitimately makes me feel like my mental health has gone up. Which I can't say about many games. So yeah. I'll see you guys later.